welcome back to Insight of Mega Engineering. Today, we're diving into a stunning feat of sustainable engineering nestled in the heart of majestic mountains. Picture this, a two megawatt hydropower project that doesn't just generate clean energy, but does so in perfect harmony with nature. No massive dams, no giant reservoirs, just the raw power of a river and some incredible technology. Let's explore how this run of river project powered by Francis Turbines is lighting up the future, one spin at a time. This isn't your typical power plant. Tucked away in breathtaking mountain scenery, this two megawatt hydro project follows a run of river design. Instead of storing water in a huge reservoir, it diverts just a portion of the river's natural flow, about 2.94 cubic meters per second, through a cleverly designed system. That water rushes down a drop or head of 42.67 meters at its rated capacity with a maximum head of 44 meters. It's not the tallest drop in the world, but it's more than enough to get the job done efficiently. And at the heart of it all, the mighty Francis turbines. Now let's talk about the real stars of this operation, the Francis turbine units. These aren't just any turbines, they're engineering masterpieces designed for efficiency and adaptability. Imagine water cascading down the mountainside, its energy begging to be harnessed. That's where these turbines step in. The water strikes the turbine runners, spinning them at a steady 750 revolutions per minute. That controlled spin generates a rated power of 120 kilovolt amperes. That's some serious juice. Let's geek out on the details for a second, because this is insight of mega engineering after all. Each Francis turbine generator is a three-phase system with a Y connection, delivering electricity at 415 volts and a hefty Wainting 36.4 amps. It operates at a frequency of 50 hertz, standard in many parts of the world, and has a power factor of 0.8 lagging, which is a solid measure of its electrical efficiency. The insulation? rated FFF, meaning it can handle some serious heat. And check this out, if the load suddenly drops, these turbines have a runaway speed of 1373 RPM, a safety feature baked into the design. Plus, with an IP23 rating, they're built to withstand dust and water spray, making them perfect for this rugged environment. So how does it all come together? The river's flow is diverted into a channel or pipe, rushing toward the turbines with just the right amount of pressure, with a flow rate of 2.94 cubic meters per second and that 42.67 meter head, the water spins those Francis runners like a perfectly choreographed dance. The turbines then convert that kinetic energy into electricity through the generator, which is excited by a system running at 50 volts and 255 amps. The result? clean, renewable power up to two megawatts flowing to homes and businesses, all without disrupting the river's natural rhythm. What makes this project so special isn't just the tech, it's the vision. This run of river design proves we can harness nature's power without overpowering it. No massive flooding, no ecological upheaval, just a sustainable system working in harmony with the environment. Surrounded by mountain majesty, these Francis turbines are a quiet force for a greener future showing us that engineering and nature can coexist beautifully.
Uh, this is the intake structure, and um, 42 metres below it lies the powerhouse. Water flows from the main inlet valve into the turbine, where it spins the runner to generate energy. After passing through the draft tube, the water is safely released back into the river. Um, that's it for today's deep dive into this incredible hydropower project. If you're as fascinated by mega engineering as I am, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an episode of Insight of Mega Engineering. What do you think? Could run of river projects like this be the future of renewable energy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.